Hello, I'm Patrick Gregson. Michelangelo de Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, commonly known as Michelangelo, was an Italian Renaissance painter and sculptor who made the David statue, painted the ceiling and the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel, and he was an architect for St. Peter's Basilica. In this presentation, I will focus on Michelangelo's change from bright, vibrant paintings filled with the human form to a painting that is darker and less life-filled. Michelangelo was an Italian painter, sculptor, architect, and poet. All of his works fell into the Renaissance time period. He started art when he became an apprentice at 13 years old under Domenico Ghirlandaio, a very prominent painter. He only lasted one year until he was taken under the wing by Florence's ruler, Lorenzo de Medici. Michelangelo used oil for most of his paintings and stone and marble for his sculptures. In his paintings, Michelangelo drew his silhouettes and people with very distinctive borders to accentuate them. He studied the human body at a very young age, and he became obsessed with its functions and how it worked as he grew older. Michelangelo often denied that he was influenced by anyone. He believed that his art style was a result of who he was. He became famous during the Renaissance time period because of his ability to make his sculptures look so real and his impressive painting of the Sistine Chapel. Most of Michelangelo's work was done as a sculptor, and for this reason I, he believed he was a sculptor. This was driven by his appreciation for the human body. Michelangelo's artwork paid him comfortably, but often he would use the money he earned and he would put it right back into another art project. His David statue, St. Peter's Basilica, and the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel are three of the most recognized pieces of his artwork. Today, his paintings are extremely high valued. One of Michelangelo's first paintings, and probably also his most famous, is a painting of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. He began painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in 1508, and it took him four years to 1512 to finish. In it, he depicted nine scenes from the book of Genesis, the creation of Adam being the most well-known, and on the edges of the painting, he painted seven prophets and five sibyls. His painting was roughly symmetric with geometric shapes such as triangles and rectangles, leaving spaces to fill with a figure. This symmetry, caused by repetition and unity, led to an even balance from all angles of view. Michelangelo placed emphasis on a particular section by painting the surrounding edges in a darker color and the figure with bright colored clothing or objects. He also places some of the figures into the triangles and arches. The pointed ends of the triangles combined with the rounded arches at the corners diverts a viewer's focus to the middle which is enclosed by a rectangle. Here the people are surrounded by bright colors. However, as his life progresses, he moves away from this, and eventually his paintings become more dark, with lef less emphasis on the human body. Michelangelo painted the Last Judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel from 1536 to 1541. The new pope, Paul III, wanted the last remaining unpainted wall to be painted in. Michelangelo painted this significantly different than he did the ceiling. While both are fresco paintings, the last one, the last judgment, is much darker and much more simple. There is just a simple blue sky as a background as opposed to the multiple different backgrounds for each geometric shape in the ceiling. The human body, something that Michelangelo spent lots of his time researching and admiring, is almost entirely absent in this. The borders of their bodies are not as clear cut and often blend in with its surroundings much more than it did on the ceiling. This is important because as a young man he adored the human body and most of his artwork made sure to convey his love for it. However, this did not show his love for the human body. The painting depicts many souls with the heavenly souls floating upwards and the damned souls sinking down. Christ acts as a judge choosing who can go up to heaven and who must be banished to hell.
Ending it is also roughly symmetric with Christ acting as a focal point and on either side people are moving up or down. There are implied lines that separate hell and heaven from those who surround Christ. Instead of an actual line, Michelangelo has the feet of the people end right above hell, leaving some, sa some space for the sky, marking the edge. And the heads only go so high, marking a clear difference to heaven. This painting is very dark and not filled with the bright oranges, yellows, and greens that Michelangelo used to paint the ceiling. The damp blue and darkness invokes a deep thought about oneself, which may have been why the Pope wanted the painting. Here, when compared side by side, it is easy to see the difference in style of painting. One which was painted when he was a young man compared to one when he was much older and later in his career. The vibrant color change to the darker, more even blue and black is very obvious. Michelangelo's style of painting changed as he got older from when he was a young man fresh from De, De Medici to his older years when he painted The Last Judgment and also was an architect for the dome on St. Peter's Basilica. On this ceiling painting, he used geometric shapes and a complementary color scheme to have a very bright painting. However, in The Last Judgment, it is an analogous color scheme and there is only implied lines that separate heaven and hell from the rest. These are my works cited and thank you for your time.